Great ball, Dennis. Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. oh no! But Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize giving soon. Prize giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here. I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> Ha! You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. 
It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, oh, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> If life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big toe. I remember I tie a string for my birthday. What's happening? Bring that dog here! Oh. special prize for outstanding individual achievement. And it goes to Dennis. We're so proud of you, Dennis. This is the happiest day of our lives. And we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. Oh. Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. What's 
this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> hey, look! I thought it was sold out! Right now, it's sold out! You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't, now it is again. OK! Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook Fuzzy Rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25 string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. Ah -ha! And don't come back. Okay, not a tunnel, but uh... hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere. Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins, Parky's onto us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you got two, who's the other one for? Miss Minnie Wolf, of course. Because <laughs> she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle pass. <laughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <laughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow, so this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! I've got to keep my strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's <coughs> not polite. <coughs> <coughs> My tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa. Like the new hair. <laughs> Quick, Nasha. Take these. <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure. I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just, just a minute. <laughs> The crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Time for pies, Pie Face. We gotta get out of here. Hang on. <laughs> Daddy, hi. Huh? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money, aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have some money? Please? <laughs> so, that's a no then, is it? But you always give me money. <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, huh. oh, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> real Rat Bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! 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 Right! Rat bucket's going to need some help on this first song. Elevator to the... What? It's not going to play. Not going to play. What? Mr. Ratbucket, sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> Now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums, uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good, can't sing, really loud, sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs>
Mission class, today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. <laughs> I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <laughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. <gasps> it's awesome! It's tiny. <gasps> oh, boys, really? What's that dog doing here? Ah, oh, well, he's interested in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes, this buckle is evidence that Beano Town was once home to a warrior mm. tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honor to meet you! I've read all your books! Ah, oh, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real warrior tribe stuff. Come on! <laughs> wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasha. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha! Stop! Wait for us! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that boon! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Damn it! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. Ah! Oh. Quick, this way. We've given them the slip. Check this out. I knew it. It's not Walter. It's me. I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe. Mmm. An ancient warrior pie. Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them. <laughs> How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Kevin, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. Why'd you steal it? 
The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure of the Lost Tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. We got to defend my ancestors' treasure. I just can't believe it, Professor Smith. I, I don't understand. I thought you. <laughs> 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 must be hundreds of years old. God, no wonder they whiff. That's why Smith was doing those strange moves. That scroll tells him where the booby traps are too. No time to hang around, Walter. If we follow Smith, He'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! Leave me alone. I'm fine. I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all. <laughs> Thousand-year-old gunge! <gasps> Jump for it! Wow, the treasure of the lost tribe. And that's gotta be King Dennis. Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone. Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure, and I'm not going to let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Take that! Oh, 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 you little one! Come on, lads! Run for it! Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me. <laughs> Told you they were fierce. Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. <laughs> Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief, but it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognize this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. It was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say, you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I'd, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. Oh, now. Nice pot of tea. Check. 
plenty of cream cakes. Check. Box of tissues. Check. Oh, all set to watch my lovely old-fashioned romance movie. <sighs> Dearest Nigel, don't ever leave me. Oh, Felicity, don't speak. Just oh, a full-on body slam. Then a spinning bulldog. <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Mum? It's wrestling, live from Beano Town Conference Centre. Yes, I do mind. Give me that. But, Mum, Mr Magnifico's on. He's our favourite. Yay! I don't care. It's a lovely afternoon. Go and play outside. Oh, hello, dear. Looking forward to the rubber band and paperclip dinner tonight? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Just going through my speech? Mm-hmm. Apparently, Hiram Big Bucks himself is going to be there. Really? The company owner? At the dinner? Yes. And my boss, Mr Scrimp, says that if my speech doesn't go down well, I'll be demoted to the drawing pin division. That's nice, dear. So if I can just turn this down a bit while I practice... Uh, excuse me, I was watching that. It's lovely out. Go and practice your speech in the garden. Was it not Shakespeare who said, a rubber band? A rubber band. Twisty Tornado, you and the Pie Man of Doom better watch out. Here comes the Prime Minister and the Nasherizer's special move. The Flying Fangling with Twist. My kingdom for a rubber... dog. Nasher! Of course, darling. How could they not? You're young. <laughs> Goodness, what now? <coughs> Mum, Nash has hurt a tooth in a freak wrestling accident. All right, let me see. Oh, Nasha, you better take him to the vet, Dennis. All right, Mum, see ya. And you, back in the garden. Now! Yes, dear, right away, dear. Put two drops in its water and your goldfish won't feel off colour for long. Right then, young man. What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's his tooth. He had a bit of an accident. Hmm. No problem. You wait here and I'll take a look at him. Now then, let's see those teeth. Goodness me! Let me know which one's sore. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I think we've found the little rascal. <coughs> Nasha! What's she doing to me, best mate? Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm just going to give him something for the pain. Now, hold still. I'm going to knock you out with a little laughing gas. don't think so. Who wins? Sorry, Dudley. It's an emergency. I'll give it back later. <sighs> you little pests. You just wait. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oopsie. We should be able to lose the dentist in here. Oh, wow! Nasha, can you believe where we've ended up? It's the conference centre where the wrestling's on! Yes. Look, it's Mr Magnifico! Yes. Yes. Right, where are those menaces on wheels? Uh-oh! In here, Nasha! Just a wild guess, Nasha, but I'd say Dad's firm are having their dinner here. Let's see if we can find him. <gasps> Maybe not. Quick, onto the table. Uh, Mr Big Bucks and I are looking forward to your speech. What's his name? Last year's speaker was brilliant. Uh, who was it again? Oh, yes, me. Oh. <laughs> 
Are you all right, Nasha? I'm not surprised you've got indigestion. The cylinder's probably leaking. A praise silence for the manager of the rubber band and paperclip division. Uh, what's his name? Go on, dear. You'll be fine. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honour to be in the presence of some of the legends in the world of rubber bands and paperclips here tonight. Hang on in there, Nasha. With a bit of luck, Dad's speech will send them to sleep. Of the first coated paperclip. Nasha! Corrosion resistant and yet maintains the malleability of the standard metal non coated variety. Of course, both rubber bands and paperclips play a vital role in the fashion world. Many people I know have a small pot upon their desk in which they keep a selection of rubber bands for a situation which may arise which they have not yet worked out. And that is why I firmly believe that we in the rubber band and paperclip community should stick together. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> stick together. <laughs> And, you know, well, thank you very much. I, I didn't think it was that funny, but it's actually funnier than I thought. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, thank you. That's too much. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> the hairy mat attacked me. It was a mistake, Mr. Scrimp. He didn't mean to. <laughs> Please don't send me to the drawing pin division. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Do excuse us, gentlemen. <laughs> nice speech, Dad. <laughs> Behind here! <laughs> Wait till I get hold of the little pest! <laughs> <laughs> End his horrible dog! <laughs> <laughs> You think I look funny, do you? I'll have you know that I designed this costume myself. <laughs> no one laughs at Mr. Magnifico! <laughs> Stop it, Afro Hulk! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scrimp, Mr. Big Box, <laughs> how can I ever apologize? Uh, 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 apologize? What for? Great, <laughs> wonderful conference, Scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Big Box. <laughs> 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 Great speech, what's his name? <laughs> In fact, funniest speech I ever heard. <laughs> Make sure this man gets a bonus. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> would this be a good time <laughs> to ask you for tickets to the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets! <laughs> of course, Dennis! <laughs> Here, you'll need money for drinks and eat, too! <laughs> Take me wallet! <laughs> and now for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, defending world champion Mr. Magnifico versus the fearsome face dancer, Freddy Fernandez! Magnifico looking for a way in, but, but wait, <laughs> something seems to be the matter with Magnifico. He's, he's laughing. Fadoon is laughing. Oh, oh Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Before we finish
finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. No, no, no wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Asher, but we're still short of a few vital parts. See my robot. Hey, Dunbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good. But what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores. From digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow. That's cool. Dembot rocks. Dembot. Rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 
Warbot caused all the... Hey, what was that? It's Warbot! He's all right! No way! That's Denbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to Treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pieface and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work! They actually work! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. Must go to school. <gasps> oh, it's locked. There's only one way out of here. And guess what's blocking it? Your stupid robot. My robot? Your robot started it? No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete philosoid. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. This time you've gone too far, Dennis. It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun, and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? 
It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown up, Dennis. Who, me? <laughs> yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown ups behave. But school? Grown ups? Ah. Oh. Can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys. Have fun. Oh, come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys! Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis! What are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey, I smell a rat, Nasher. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Dad's been set up. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swat get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? No, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant! Oh, oh for, for fun. fun! And fun for all! <laughs> <laughs> Just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Masha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. A boomerang? <laughs> With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, <laughs> fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. <laughs> Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Father! Oh, maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> oh, so I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? But... 
When you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair. We've got to do something, Nasha. All right. The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father. Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And, of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute, I recognise those. Boomerang Bullseye! Dennis, put my boomerangs back. <laughs> Your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it! I'm sorry, Mrs Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing havoc at his old school, throwing water bombs, cakes... My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more... Bravo! <laughs> gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! <laughs> <laughs> we have him now. That's the only way in or out. There's no escape this time. You were saying? Get him! That's the last straw! <gasps> so, what's my naughty boy? <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this rules to get me here for a pie fight! <laughs> what the... I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. That's yes, right. Gran. Uh, that's that's right. I vote for her too. Gran. 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 Thanks. I'll weld this to my helmet when I get home. Speaking of which, you're all invited to continue the party at my place when no rules are the rule. <laughs> Nasha, our work here is done. It's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Now, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's, let's go party! party!